Okay, I'll take ho. Um, this was an interesting question. Uh, one of the viewers sent, and uh, uh, you know, this isn't the first time I've answered this question. It's part of why I'm sticking it in the sh in the show. Uh, basically, they or someone referred them to, or uh, basically, there are sites out there where you can download Windows discs. Okay. And the question was, are Is these... That's the question. It's like, is it legal? You know, they'll let me download all the Windows ISOs and then I can just try them and then if I go buy it, it's not... Okay. From where? Yeah, that's the thing. Basically, what these sites are doing is from somewhere they have created copies of Windows disks. It's possible they're using the OEMC disks or, or whatever. But basically, they're distributing Windows for free to download, but they're not giving you a key. Some of them are giving you a key. The ones you're giving you a key, you know, oh wait, that can't be right because Windows isn't free. The ones that aren't giving you a key, here's the problem with it, okay? What they're doing, not legal because Microsoft does not allow distributing of Windows that way. You downloading it, gray area, because the wrong is technically on them, and you're not planning to steal, if, as long as you're not planning to steal a Windows key, technically you're not doing anything wrong, but if you get the wrong judge, they could interpret you as doing something wrong. Using Assuming you acquire these ISOs and burn them to a disk, installing them and using them for the 30-day trial that Windows comes with, technically not in violation of any part of the Microsoft Terms of Service because you are not using a key, you have not stolen, you are not cracking it open. As long as you go buy a Windows key by buying a Windows disk or something at some point and use yeah, that I know from Microsoft because I've done that when, I, when, when I'm right and you can buy a bolt key or son or buy, or go them and buy an additional key without having to buy another Windows disk and so on but they don't distribute Windows disks like this now that may change with Windows 8 one of the things being thrown around you know IEs being made compatible with ISOs I think they're gonna have a download install if not this version of Windows the next one because it's one of the ways in which MS is behind but right now, it's one of those things, it's being done without Microsoft's permission. My guess is you're fine as long as you actually do buy a Windows key to keep using that Windows after the trial runs out. But you're in a gray area, and the person who's providing the download definitely not doing what they're supposed to be doing. I don't know what your interpretation is on that. It, it's it's one of those. It's. I, I'm not going to even just wait. I think you said everything you said. So. Okay. We want to move into hackerdom. Sure. I mean, yeah. I'm some. Uh, this is like old semantic code. This is from 2006. Versions of the ordinary version. They're saying. I don't know if is it is it newsworthy. Saying that all customers are safe. Uh, depending on how much this is critical to the underpinning, because it is the it is the full source code. Um, I, I don't know if there's like a security hole in there that's vulnerable to the underpinnings of Synaptic. Tech. Uh, I guess it could create a hole. The reality is we don't know. <laughs> it's. Um, if somebody looks at it and finds a way around it, so what I find most interesting about it is the reason this code is in the wild is because Synaptech was actually trying to pay them. What it was, somebody, somebody, a hacker stole the source code for this uh, Synaptech virus stuff. Okay, you know, firewall saw all the basically stole all the source code. They were, they basically went to them and said, "I want money. I'm going to publish this." In the process of negotiating payment, it basically email communications got bought. Synaptech was in the process of trying to figure out how to give this hacker a $50,000 blackmail payment. 
uh, and apparently they botched the payment, <laughs> so the hacker published the source code. <laughs> and I'm like, I uh, just... <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe they thought they were being screwed with. Maybe they thought they were trying to track them. I don't know. It's just one of those, hmm. And you know, the reality is I don't think we're ever going to know exactly how that got botched or which executive screwed it up. But it's one of those, uh, But that's the bit I find interesting here. It's like rather than publish that this breach had occurred, they were basically going to pay this hacker to make sure it, the fact that this was in the wild never saw the light of day. Like, that's, that's interesting, given, you know, this is a security company. It's like, you know, basically, they got breached, they got hacked, and they wanted it under the rug at, apparently, any reasonable price. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's an interesting stance for them to take. 